It's hard to imagine this is how 2020 started. But across the world, dozens were falling ill with a mysterious virus that would ultimately change life as we know it. Uh, I mostly sit around, watch TV, and um, sometimes I go shop. But my social life has kind of been destroyed. <laughs> so if it's a typical day, it's... Um... It's a typical work day. Typical work day. It's looking out the window of the semi truck, driving down the road, going uh, from point to point, picking up and delivering stuff. If it's a typical day at home, I guess it's sitting on the uh, couch and being couch potato watching TV, or working on the van, or working on the semi truck, riding my uh, razor around the block. If it's snowing out, I'll shovel the neighbors' driveways for free. I work. Tuesday through Friday, and on Mondays I go to school at Mock Community College, and I take culinary arts classes. I work at the grow room, and I've been trying to meditate every day and study my Esperanto. Wake up, go to work. I don't think we should stop wearing masks. No, no. I think it's going to be a long time before we stop wearing masks. I wasn't OCD before this. I wasn't wasn't into using hand sanitizers like crazy before all this. I don't know. You look at the Koreans and some of these Korean boy bands and all of them are wearing masks three, four years ago. And watching uh, Asians wearing masks, that's probably going to be the new norm now. You'll have those that'll be the anti-maskers, anti anti uh vaccine anti all that stuff and they'll still get sick and they'll still die it is what it is i guess but i don't really expect too much to change with the mask thing it's probably going to be around a while just a lot of sadness i think for a lot of people because a lot of people are sick or a lot of people and a lot of people um have died and so I think there's a lot of sadness and a lot of grief right now. A lot of people were already, um, you know, under had stressful situations in their life, and so I think this is just um, really made it more difficult for a lot of people. So I think a lot of people are having um, problems with depression and anxiety, and it's um, over overall really diff difficult time for a lot of people. More depression and anxiety, um, like my development of panic disorder. Um, I think part of it was because, um, like, not being around people as much um, during quarantine and everything. I'm afraid it might not go away because so many people refuse to get the vaccine now that it's available. Um, and the areas of the state that are refusing the vaccine are the areas where they have the most um, cases of the coronavirus. The people say, well, I don't know what's in the vaccine, so they won't go get it. And I say, you don't know what's in hot dogs and you don't know what's in half of the food you eat. So why should you be afraid of a virus, of a, a vaccine? You know, if there's nothing live, it's not the old days. You had live virus that that you know they put in your body so that you'd build up immunity. There's no there's no live virus anymore, so there's no excuse for people not to take it. And when the people started going to court to fight the governor over it. That just really made me mad because she was doing what she felt was going to protect our citizens. This was like in February, we discussed whether or not we should cancel our union meetings, our retiring meetings, because all of our members are old. <laughs> and they're the ones that was, you know, first ones that were affected was the older people. So, um, you know, when it shut, when things shut down, I said, it's terrible for the economy, but it's something that we have to do. 
I think we'll s still be in the same position we are. I think the except the economy will be falling worse, and people will be struggling more, and the government will also be struggling with it. Why do you think that? Because they're giving away a bunch of free money, and people are becoming lazy, don't want to go to work, and the government's already running out of money and other significant funds, and it's just creating the economy to get worse. You go to the grocery store and everything's twice as expensive as it used to be. And they're charging the truck drivers uh, a lot less to move it. It's like freight rates went from uh, really good to really crappy. Especially uh, the middle of last year uh, when the pandemic started and everything started shutting down. The groceries started costing more. Everybody wanted uh, more truck drivers to ship and they wanted to do it for less money. And at some point, it got to be so cheap, it was uh, more cost effective just to stay home, do nothing. Did that for about a month. I really didn't think pandemic, when it was coming down the pike, that government did enough to uh, shut the airlines down soon enough. Oh, hey, we're gonna just shut down airlines to China without thinking anybody from China could just fly to Europe and then fly over here, oops. When the cruise ships were getting all infected, they should have left them on the cruise ships. They did. And sometimes they did, and often after enough complaining, they got off the ship and they went on and spread the virus everywhere. I hope they open everything back up and our economy can land back on its feet within a decade. But I doubt that will happen.